All right. So last thing we're going to talk about, last thing I want to talk about is I'm actually going to do a problem that um, is actually a little bit easier because you guys could probably go through this. And the main important thing one is you guys should notice. Um, actually, they're not exactly the same. I thought they were. No, they're not. It looks like it's a difference of two squares, but it's actually not a difference of two squares. It's very similar. But anyways, whenever you guys are dealing with a problem like this, you guys can realize, again, you can apply FOIL. First, outer, inner, and then last. Okay. So when I'm doing this, even though I've preferred usually doing um, the box method, actually doing a problem like this, I prefer, Ryan, to do FOIL because a lot of times the, the math just takes a little bit more work. So if I was going to do FOIL, I would do first, which would be 3 squared of y times 2 squared of y. Well, that becomes 6 squared of y squared, which is just 6y. Does everybody agree with me on that? Okay, so if you just do, you're basically just doing each operation separately. O is going to be the outer. So that's going to be 3 square root of y times 5 square root of 5. Well, 3 times 5 is going to be 15 times the square root of 5y. I should probably put like some columns there. The next one would be i, which represents your inner terms. So I have a negative square root of 5. Make sure you're very careful with the signs. Negative square root of 5 times 2 square root of y. So I have that equals a negative 2 um, times the square root of 5y. And then the last ones I'd like to do is the last, which is going to be a negative square root of 5 times 5 square root of 5. So net 5. So that becomes a negative 5 times the square root of 25, which is 5. 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. Does everybody agree? Yes, no, maybe so. So now all I simply do is just write these all out and then combine them. So I basically have 6y plus 15 times square root of 5y minus 2 times square root of 5y minus 25. So I look at, and I remember to combine, to add and subtract, we have to have like terms. So you guys can see, negative 25 is my only number. I only have 1 6y. However, I do have the square root of 5y and the square root of 5y. Since they're both square roots, meaning the index is the same, and they're both 5y, meaning the radicands are the same, I can simply combine them. So 15 minus 2 is going to be 13 square root of 5y. Well, that's it. Yes. Uh, no, I want to give you guys some practice, and I'll walk around and answer questions. I've been kind of teaching a lot today. So. Uh, 